I know this one looks a little different than this one, but it's the same type of drum. The reason why it's the same type of drum is the shape of the drum is the same, but yeah. the way that they make it is different. This one's actually made um, probably in China, but <laughs> as far as we're concerned, designed here in America. <laughs> And the cool thing about a drum like this is because of the screws on the side, it makes it a lot easier to change and tune the drum heads, whereas the rope systems are a real pain to mess with. So that's what's nice about these. Um, and then the last one we need to talk about is this. This is basically a box. See, box. box. <laughs> now, there's actually a, a name for it. We call it a cojon, which is, uh, I believe it's a Spanish word, which means box. So, uh, cojon's an interesting drum. And, um, <laughs> the doctor says that. It has a very different meaning. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think when they named it, they were thinking that. So the way you play this one is the same. You can do bass tones by hitting the center of the box or by hitting the edge, open tones. Now what's interesting about, I think that what's interesting about this is, uh, th this is an instrument that comes from uh, countries like uh, Trinidad and Tobago. And in those countries, uh, the governments there decided to outlaw musical instruments with certain kids because they would get in trouble with these instruments. They're associated with gangs. So, um, since they weren't allowed to play real instruments anymore, they had to invent their own instruments. So they would take things like crates and f use them as drums, like the box drum. But another really cool instrument that comes out of the same area are, is the steel drum or steel pan. Um, they took these 55 gallon drums and just started beating the snot out of them and realized if they hit them hard enough, they could put dents in them. And those dents actually had certain pitches. So if you look at a, uh, a steel drum, Think it, you know, picture a circle, and you'll see little indentations all, all the way around it. And each one of those indentations, uh, indentation, a uh, little have uh, different pitches to them. And so you can actually tune them to have uh, whatever sounds you want to make them. But uh, traditionally, we do uh, tune them to a, a Western uh, scale, just like a piano. So we have all of these instruments, and I need to make sure that I have enough for everybody. If uh, we may have to do some sharing or switching around. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.